John! So smart. I know it's a light, but it's not light. Stop arguing. Whatever. Stop arguing. I don't think these are going already. Go back to it. Huh. It takes four. Merry Christmas and welcome to the So-and-So Show. I'm Brandon. And I am John. And Merry Christmas indeed. Can you believe it's almost here? <laughs> and there is one thing I could tell you for sure. No one loves Christmas more than me. <laughs> right. Except for me. Uh, you do love Christmas. Merry Christmas! Just not as much as me. Huh? Merry Christmas! I'm sorry, Brandon, I couldn't quite hear you. I was trying to wish everyone a Merry Christmas! You know what? What is this? Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! This is silly. I know. And we both like Christmas. Sure. Right? And if one of us celebrates Christmas just a little bit better than the other, that's okay. Oh, absolutely. Great. So now that we've established that you love Christmas and I love Christmas just a tiny bit more than you. Oh, no, you don't. What? Guess what, Brandon? I challenge you to the the bigger is better, more is more Christmas celebration, spectacular extravaganza challenge. You're on. The Bigger is Better, More is More Christmas Celebration Spectacular Extravaganza Challenge. Okay, we're about to put ourselves to the test. Who is the most committed? Who is the most passionate? Who celebrates Christmas the best? And we're gonna find out who celebrates Christmas the best with a little game called Ornament Explosion. Yep, as you can see, we have each a Christmas tree behind us with our faces on top. And we each have a tub of balloons filled with paint. We will have 20 seconds to throw as many balloons at the uh, Christmas tree, and whoever decorates it the most wins. Yep. You ready? <laughs> yeah. All right. On your mark, get set, go. Oh, Ooh, yeah. man. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> Here's an ornament. Oh, I missed. Oh, that that disintegrated in my hand. <laughs> I don't I like know. that one. There we go. Oh, I broke the paper. Uh-oh. Oh, <laughs> man. I, yeah, I think it's obvious who won here. Yeah, you clearly won. You missed, like, the whole bottom half of your tree. Well, because I'm taller than you. Okay. Next round. This round is called Fruitcake Smash, because everyone knows one of the best ways to celebrate Christmas is fruitcake. And the best way to determine who loves Christmas the most is how dense and tough your fruitcake is. Yes, and how will we determine whose fruitcake is the densest and well, toughest? We will climb this ladder, 
and drop it onto a plate of mashed potatoes. Mine are the green mashed potatoes. And mine are red. Yes. You wanna go first? Yeah, I do. All right. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Okay, in three, two, one. <laughs> what? <laughs> that didn't even go anywhere. That was not dense at all. No, I'm so, no. I'm, but, I don't, uh, yeah, whatever. I'm so glad you were far away. I don't think away. we saw that happening. Yeah, no, climb up this side. This, this is, is the safe this, side. This, no, I'm no, gonna do this. Side. Okay. This is gonna do the same thing. I, no, I don't know. Woo! You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> I think I won. Okay. Look at that. Wait, let's Wait, measure. No, no. We gotta measure. <laughs> no, you did we not win. Measure. You just let's threw see. yours through the back no, of the we're plate. Gonna see. Yours didn't. No, you're measuring at all. wrong. You're measuring wrong. Look at mine. Measuring mine. wrong. No, mine's no, like no. Inches. From the edge of the. Okay, here you go. I have five and a half. Okay, okay, wait. Okay, okay. Use okay. this edge. Okay. Uh, you. 13. Okay, whatever. 13, I win. Yeah, okay, next game. Next round, Christmas sweaters. And Christmas lights. Combined together at last. Whoever makes the gaudiest, most amazing outfit wins the round. Go! Yeah. <laughs> what? With just some antlers and a Christmas sweater? Yeah. Come on, buddy. Lights! Ooh. Huh? This is Christmas. Oh, you think so? All right. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer had a very shiny nose. Ah. Woo! Ah. <laughs> ah, it's blinding! Yes! It's blinding! Ah! Whoa! I'm all right. Ooh. It's Bible story time with Kelly. Hey, Kellen. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, indeed. Whoa. Those are quite the outfits, fellas. Oh, thank you. What have you guys been up to today? Oh, just proving to each other who celebrates Christmas the best. Oh, I don't, I don't really know if there's a best way to celebrate. No? I mean, there's definitely a why we celebrate and a who we celebrate, but the way we celebrate can look different for different people. Mm-hmm. You got a story for us today, Kellen? Absolutely and your awesome outfits have actually inspired me. We're going to tell the story of Christmas with Laundry Theater. Oh. Our story today comes from the book of Luke, chapter two. There was a young woman named Mary, and Mary was pregnant, but the child she was carrying was extremely special. It was the Son of God. Mary was engaged to a man named Joseph. The time came for a census to be taken. That's where everyone in the Roman world would be counted. So Mary and Joseph had to travel to the hometown of Joseph's family, Bethlehem. Mary and Joseph packed up what they would need for their journey. And they left the town of Nazareth for Bethlehem. It probably took several days before they got there. When they got to Bethlehem, there was a problem. There was nowhere for them to stay. The only place they could stay was with the animals. It was there that Jesus was born. He was wrapped in strips of cloth and placed in a manger. God's precious son given to the world and placed in a feeding trough. And if that wasn't incredible enough, 
God was about to announce the birth of Jesus to the world in a special way. You would think he would announce it to the kings and queens of the world or to the rich and famous, but no. There were shepherds living in the fields nearby and they were taking care of their sheep. And then an angel appeared to them and they were terrified. But the angel told them not to be afraid. The angel gave them good news. A savior had been born to them in Bethlehem. They could find the baby wrapped in strips of cloth and lying in a manger. And then a whole group of angels appeared and began praising God. When the angels left, the shepherds decided to go to Bethlehem to see what had happened. The shepherds found the baby Jesus just as the angels had told them. And then they went out and told everyone they could about the good news of Jesus, that there was a reason to celebrate because God had sent a savior. The end. Wow, that, that was incredible. Yeah, who knew laundry could be so moving? Well, it's an incredible story. It's the reason we celebrate Christmas. I noticed there weren't a lot of bigger is better, more is more, Christmas extravaganza stuff happening that first Christmas. No, it was kind of the opposite. It was small, a little baby, born to a young woman in the middle of nowhere, in a place meant for animals. And the first people that knew God had sent a savior were a few nearby shepherds. So the best way to celebrate Christmas might not be the biggest. Yeah, but there are a lot of different ways to celebrate. Going all out with decorations, that's one way. Then there's giving gifts or seeing family, eating good food. All of those are great. But we should always remember that the real reason we celebrate is that God gave us Jesus. Hey, thanks, Kellen. Yeah, Merry Christmas, Kellen. Merry Christmas, fellas. I'll see you next time. Mm. You know, I hear that story every year, and I'm reminded every year that it's so easy to miss the point of it all. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think we both love Christmas. Now, obviously. But maybe it's not a competition. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can help each other celebrate and remember why we celebrate. How can we do that? Oh, I'm glad you asked. Reveal the question. Uh. How are you celebrating Christmas this year? Maybe you're gonna visit family. Maybe you're volunteering somewhere. Or maybe you're going to a party with your friends. When you talk about how you're celebrating Christmas, try and remember why you're celebrating. Yes. Hey, Merry Christmas, everybody. And we'll see you next time on The So-and-So Show. Or as they say in England, Happy Christmas. Uh, is that your British accent? Yeah. Happy Christmas. Do they, have you been to England? Do they talk like that? Yes. I will have one meat pie, please. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. Va la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly. Va la 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 la. Jingle bells, jingle all the way. Hey, oh what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Come on, come on, Norwal. <laughs> All the way, oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh! Merry Christmas. Yeah. Man, oh. that was a lot of hard work. I'm tired. Why? <laughs> <laughs>